Hello Stampers! I've got a lovely little reflection card for you here today using the Beauty of Friendship bundle from Stampin' Up. It's the stamps that have all these trees and some wonderful sentiments in it and a die set. And the die set is beautiful trees and it, let's see if I can get this apart. Um, it has quite a few dies in it. And we're going to use the tree die, the large tree die for this card today. And I cut two out of soft suede and we're going to put those aside for now. And when you do that, when you die cut your tree, make sure you hang on to one of your um, little tree pieces that it cut out of. Because we're going to use that for this project too. So are you ready to get started on this? We are going to go step by step on this card and we're first going to start out with putting in our our background and our reflection and then we'll bring our tree dies in in a little bit. So this main image panel is three and three quarters by five and we're going to start with our actually putting in the reflections first. And so we're going to get our little um, template here that we cut our trees out of. And we're going to sponge this in, not sponge it in, but use a blending brush and balmy blue ink. And I'm putting it on the cardstock just so that the very bottom branches are showing. Um, there's two trees in this project and one's pretty far over on the panel. So we want to be over quite a bit for this first one. And when you blend, you got to kind of be careful that you're blending with the template so you're not pulling up the little pieces. And you're really just getting um, kind of a a not perfect tree. This is all, you know, the reflection side, so it can be a little wonky in the water. That's okay. So there's our first one. And then we're going to move this mask over a bit and put in our second one. Let's see, we want it fairly close to... We're going to do that same thing, even though we'll be overlapping some of the last one that we put in. That's okay. Right, so there's our reflection, and now we're going to put in our water. So we're going to just go over this lightly here. You don't want to be as strong as what you put in your tree reflection, of course, else it won't show up well. Again, we're staying with our balmy blue. Okay, so now we're going to put some Sahara sand up in the sky area. And I'm going to go to my brown brush. So there's my Sahara sand. Um, next I'm going to pull in some gray. I'm going to stay with the same blending brush. I'm going to just clean it off a bit. I'm not sure why I don't have a gray blending brush. I'm going to have to get one. And I'm going to come down a little further with the gray. I'm going over the Sahara sand, but I'm leaving quite a bit of 
white here. There's that, and I'm gonna go back to my balmy blue. I want some balmy blue up in the sky area. This is a very like wintry sky, right? Layering colors gives you so many more options. There we go. And now I need my um, moon shape in there. So I'm going to put my moon mask on here. I want it pretty much towards the top. Let's see here. And I cut that out of a double layer of post-it notes using the smallest circle in the layering circle dies. And this is a one and a quarter inch circle. So you could use your punch if you have a punch of that size too. And I'm gonna blend some color around this. Just until you see that you have color around the, all the, the whole edge of that circle. And then you, when you pull it off, there's your moon. Feel free if you want to add a little bit in the middle of it also. You know, it's your project, do whatever you want. That's what's so fun about stamping, right? So that was balmy blue that I did that with. Okay, and now we need um, our ground area here for our trees to be in. And I'm gonna take a three by five post-it note. I'm gonna rip just a fine edge off of this post-it note here. Got some schmutz there and I just want barely the tops of the tree showing. And you can do this to where your water is straight across or I have it at a little bit of a slant. And we're going to use um, Sahara sand for this. I just want some color there. It's going to ground our trees a little bit. So that was Sahara sand. And now it's time to put to get some color on our trees. I didn't want them just to be all soft suede. So we're going to blend some um, early espresso on our trees and our trees are going to be to the left of the moon and so we want the moon to be showing some light on our trees so we want our dark part to be on the left part of the trees because that's going to be our shadow side And this is early espresso. Getting it nice and dark on the whole left side there. Down our trunk. We're going to repeat with the second tree.
Okay. And I want some light, light highlights on the very tips of my branches and down the right side of my trees. So we're going to just take a sponge, just a piece of a sponge and some um, Whisper White ink. And I'm going to pounce this on the edges of my branches here and just put a little bit down that tree trunk so we have some nice light edges on those. I'm going to repeat from my second tree. A quick way to get some highlights. So there is that. And now we're ready to put them on our, our panel. And I think I'm going to, I've got all that white on there. I don't want to get that on my card. I've did that before. Let's just flip that over. It's always good to have something clean before you start assembling. And check your hands too. <laughs> that white seems to show up everywhere where you don't want it to. Okay. So now for our main panel, we're gonna bring that back in and we're going to glue our trees on. And I want the one, uh, the, the tree on the right to be further away and the tree on the left to be on top of it. So we're going to put this tree on first, the one on the right. Get my trusty glue out here. And the tops of these trees are going to be hanging off of the panel. So you really don't need to do the very top branches. They get cut off. And we're going to put that right at the base of that Sahara sand line right over our shadowed stem, I mean trunk. I don't know why I want to call tree trunk stems for some reason this week. So there's our first one and we're going to do the same, glue this one on. with the tree trunk. Glue it down. When you have them where you want them, of course I've glued it to the paper. <laughs> That's okay, all that gets cut off anyway. And take a pair of paper snips, turn it over so I can see well. Clip it flush with our panel. And it looks like that. Okay. Read this. Now we're ready to assemble our card. I've got most of it assembled already. Um, you can find all the product links in the card piece dimensions below this video. Just click show more to reveal the list. You'll, you'll find it in the description below the video, like I said. Um, and if you're inspired by this video, just take a second to like and subscribe. 
So we're going to layer this on top of an early espresso panel and then we have a smoky slate card base. I call this a weenie layer, this little early espresso panel because it's just one eighth inch larger than our main image panel. That early espresso panel is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. Our smoky slate card base is five and a half by eight and a half. Folded in half for an A2 size. Isn't that pretty? And inside the card, um, I have a smoky slate not, um, panel in here that's, let's see, it's three and three quarters by five, and then the early espresso panel is four by 5.25. All right, now we need a sentiment. I probably should have did that before I put it on the card, but I forgot. I'm only human, right? So here we go. I'm gonna test my stamp. Make sure it's stamping the way I want to. See if I can get this kind of straight on here. It's always hard doing it on a video. There we go, not too shabby. I'll take it. Okay, so we have our sentiment on there and I'm gonna add just a few water lines. I think I'm gonna bring out a white chalk marker. Just add some water lines in here and that's just a few dashes. You want them different sizes. Our water's pretty light so they don't show up real well on this but there's a hint of them, right? You're going right over those reflections. And there is our finished card. 